Okay, just looking at the mantra that we created in 2017 as part of the answer process, or well, the beginning of the answer process. And it's ended up being a 59 ways to beat chess. That's m my personal mantra on trying to understand the rudiments of the game of chess and trying to analyze it and improve our game as best possible. So 59 points, all based on the experiences of the games that I've played over the board, online, etc. Watching other people playing, reading the books, all those types of things, all the types of research that you normally would go through uh, playing chess and trying to learn how to um, develop in chess. So created my own little 59 ways of maneuvering cycle it's more a psychological mantra you know it's not technically based or anything like that so it's um all based on the experiences of going to tournaments over the board playing tournaments online all types of games playing chess First one is pace simple obvious paths, common sense, direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. Because with no soldiers, there can be no war. I mean, that could be a little bit contentious in terms of mentioning soldiers and war and all that. But in terms of me understanding the game, when I first started out, when I first started playing, I played more a locked down type of um, process. You know more stone wally type thing so keeping all the pieces on the board and just inching things up and i came to realize that really wasn't my style that wasn't the way that i wanted to play really i wanted to be a bit more dynamic and i realized well simple removing of the pieces at the right moment at the right time i was struggling with that you know at the right moment at the right time um i just didn't want to do the stone wall type stuff anymore so as soon as i brought a piece out i would be taking a piece off the board if a piece was available i'd be taking pawns off left right and center not worrying too much about the position because i was saying well if they haven't got any piece on the board they can't do a right lot to me and it did kind of work it was it was working really quite nicely until obviously i got carried away with it and the position wasn't very good when i was doing the capturing so then the opponent could just beat me in the end game by having either one pawn up you know or two pawns up or my position was totally shot where i lost minor pieces at crucial stages in the game so it needed fine tuning but I didn't want to go back to Stonewall and wanted to find a way of improving the removing of the pieces of the board. So this is why I've basically mentioned with no soldiers, which is the pieces, um, there can be no war. So the opponent can't, they've got nothing to attack you with. And I found that that worked quite nicely when you were playing the higher rated players because taking their pieces off the board it almost equalized the situation just because they were higher rated didn't mean that they could win because they had no pieces on the board they had less pieces just like me so that psychology was kind of working and that's why i wanted to try and fine tune it as best possible to find better position and that's where i realized that i was a positional player i wanted to be a positional player uh, above all else because at the end of the day if your position's shot then you're disadvantaged and you're giving the advantage to the opponent so keeping the tension where it would be a mistake to take and this comes back again to the stone wall type thing where we've got fairly decent at the stone wall type thing but to me it just just didn't sit right because it gave what's the word it gave opportunities more to the opponent as well you know or it's just going to end up being a draw because everything's just locked down so you can only do that for so long and then 
advantages are taken because you've you've locked everything down and then the tiniest of maneuvers grabbing a pawn here grabbing a pawn there and maybe you lose out tempo wise it's not that interesting and to me it really wasn't helping develop my chess i wanted to be a more rounded player than just stonewalling the game so keeping that tension where it was a mistake to take at least i understood what the stonewall was because i came in as a stonewall type blocking down type player so keeping the tension to me wasn't really the issue it was about understanding okay when we keep the tension when is it going to be appropriate to actually make a take you know which is a mistake to take and which is a mistake to miss a take so all of those things you have to weigh those types of things up because it's the contradic contradictory nature of chess at the right moment at the right time it might be a mistake to take or it might be a mistake to miss the take so all in all in the early part it was a practice to have no system or style so that i can blend in with any opponent's system or style because everybody plays differently and you may have a similar type game happening on the board online or whatever it is but that opponent is going to do something different to how you've played it umpteen million times before so it's always being aware of um trying to be open to accepting that anything can happen actually on the board and trying to be as flexible as possible with my responses let's take let's take let's come here let's push I'm gonna run out of time I bet you could have taken the pawn take it's coming down strong, getting the king in. Block the king off. Oh, what did I do that for? I've just lost the pawn. Check knight.